Well, guys, tonight I was going to game all night and everything since the wife and kid are out of town, but then the whole responsible father-husband thing in me started going off in my head and said, go to Home Depot and tile the kitchen. Wow, I must really love my wife uh, to spend my Saturday night putting tile in the kitchen. I have a feeling I might get some something out of this. I don't know what. But something wives do for husbands when they go above and beyond. You know what I'm talking about. Well, as a surprise to my wife while she's out of town, I decided I'm going to replace the whole backsplash in the counter with ceramic tile. As you can see right here, the old backsplash is getting rotten and the wood's turning black and it's just all moldy and dried out and nasty. Um, whoever installed this, like the house builder when we bought it, I mean, they were obviously going the cheap route. So I decided that I wanted to put tile back there because we really like the way it looks in our bathroom. But I've never done tile before, so I thought it'd be cool to do a video of it. And since I can't game tonight and give you guys a gaming video, I figured, oh, well, let's give you a how-to video on how to install tile. The problem is, I don't really know how to install tile. I'm going to learn as I go, and I'm going to videotape the whole thing. And by the end, this is either going to be a how-to or a how-not-to video. All right, so I went to Home Depot, and I purchased a couple of things that totaled about $100. But I got grout, and I got mortar to stick them to the wall. I got spacers. A little kit with all the tools that I need, a box of ceramic tile, four and a quarter inch, and I got some stuff for sanding the edge of the tile where I break it, some places to score it, something to snap it once I score it. Um, I think this is just about everything I need. Uh, everything else I should have in the garage, but uh, if we're missing something, we're going to figure it out pretty quick. All right, guys, so I'm guessing the first step to doing this is uh, I got to clear the kitchen out. There's tons of shit all over the counters. I need to get this all out of here so that I have clear access to the backboard throughout the whole kitchen. So let's go ahead and start off by doing that. All right, so I went ahead and cleared off the counters. You can see this is the old backsplash. And it actually gets really, really bad behind the faucet. As you can see right there, it's just all rotted out from all the chemicals and moisture getting back there from splashing on the sink. And there's the pile of stuff we're gonna use to replace it all with tile, hopefully. All right, so I got my tape measure, I got my pry bar, I got a pencil, and a pad of paper. All right, so the first thing I need to do here is I got my crowbar. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the old backing, which is this stuff. And I figured that I'd start out on the little bench here so that if I completely fuck up and I find out that I can't do this and I'm beyond capable, I can hire a professional to do the rest of the kitchen and just fix this little piece. So let's go ahead and pry this off. Hopefully it comes off easy. Hulking was high, was holding on to the bottom of it. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There's our board. All right, I need to go get a razor blade or something to clean that caulk off the counter. All right, so I got a scraper now. I'm just gonna get all the crap off the counter. Yeah, no, guys, I was really looking forward to gaming tonight and just doing gaming stuff, but uh. With the wife and kid out of town for two days, it was too good of an opportunity to fix this because this, this needed to be done like months ago. So I figured I'd surprise the wife and who knows, maybe I'll get a favor or two out of it. All right, are we, do are we done yet? All right, good enough. We're not going for Picasso here. <sighs> All right, so here's my awesome box of ceramic tile that I picked up. Let's pull a couple of these bad boys out. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh man, that's actually gonna look really good. I actually have a kit that I picked up right here, a tile installation kit. 
This is supposed to have everything that I need to do the job, but of course it's got every one of the cheapest throwaway. It's got like a grout toothbrush. Got the thing for spreading the adhesive on. Got the stuff for smearing the grout over the tile. And a sponge. Cool. This is the stuff I'm going to use right here. Simple fix. Pre-mixed adhesive and grout. So I'm going to use this to hopefully glue these little bastards to the wall. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Ooh, it looks like toothpaste. All right, so here's my little spacers that I picked up. That supposedly if I use these, it'll look like I actually took my time and installed the tile properly, which I'm not. I'm actually going super fast. Let's just dump a couple of those on the counter. They just look like little plastic X's. Oh, well, actually like rubber. Little rubber X's. Actually, this is a question for you guys. All right, I'll ask the guys on the stream. I need your help. So, should I put the tiles flush with the countertop like this and then just run the bead of caulk along the bottom, or should I offset them from the counter up a little bit like that and then run the caulk underneath and run a bead all the way underneath? Let me know. All right, guys. We're going to offset it off the countertop. All right, so I'm doing the first tile. You guys will all be like, no, you did it wrong, but that's fine. All right. The adhesive is applied, so we need two of these little jacks to give us our lift, and we are placing the first tile. Man, that, that grout is weird stuff, the adhesive, it's like sand, it's like liquid sand. That's why I got the sponges though, so they, they recommend that you just clean, clean as you go. All right, what do we think? First tile is placed. All right, so we got one tile placed. Woo! All right, let's do it again. Huh, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> All right, so we got the next tile grouted there. Let's go ahead and grab two more of these little jacks. And then we need two more to go between them. Setting tile one, put a jack right in between. Put another jack right there, they say. And press it. Squeeze that ground out. Ah, so far, so good. What do you guys think? This, this seems to be working. Okay, just clean, cleaning up. All right, so that's two. All right, well, let's keep this going. This is this is actually kind of exciting. I didn't expect, uh, expect it to be this easy so far. I know I'm gonna eat those words here in a few minutes. part's done, right? Okay, we, ob we obviously did the easiest thing possible first. We need to cut a tile. So this is the first time I need to actually cut a tile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two spacers in between, right here and right here. Oops. Ah, shit, I lost one. Ah, hopefully the camera can see over my arm. You guys, videotaping is is a pain sometimes it really is but I like a challenge all right so this tile needs to be dun, 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 two and one eighth inch so two and an eighth right there all right should be able to just hit it and break it Look at that. Use the nippers to clean it up a little bit. It's 
not the cleanest brake in the world. But I think it'll work. I need my jacks. Let's see. Need... Oh, sorry guys. Man, this grout stuff is nasty. It literally gets on everything. I see why they tell you to buy plenty of sponges. So first initial look, I think looks pretty good. So we've discovered cutting tile is tricky business. Take a little more experimenting to get that figured out. All right, time for some more destruction, guys. Got the crowbar out, let's do it. I'm afraid to see what's behind this board. Oh yeah, listen to those crackles. No, he was uh, he was pretty pretty crazy little kid. He would uh, he literally wanted me to play him Dirt Three. You know, he was he was like that guy from that song Stan on Eminem. You know. All right, guys, this is how hardcore I am. I'm gonna climb up on the counters here to get the back. This thing was insane. Whoa, pots and pans gonna fall on me. All right, here we go. Ah. Destroying the kitchen's fun. Come on, baby. Ah. Well, unfortunately, I punched a little hole in the drywall while trying to pry that board out. So if you guys are doing the same thing, try to be a little more careful. Drywall trommel thing to get back behind the board. Just so I can initially pry it. And hopefully I can get this thing back there. Come on, baby. That'll wake the neighbors up. And it's okay, all this place where I'm scarring it up, I'm just gonna paint over. There we go. Ta-da! Ah, there it is. Yo-yo! Yeah. Woo! Board zero, Jerry one. All right, so now I'm just doing a little cleanup. Get the old caulk off where the backboard was caulked down to the bottom. The good news is nothing looks rotten back here. There's some liquid nails on the drywall and a little bit of residue, uh, but nothing's rotted out, which is awesome because I was for sure when I took that backboard off behind the sink that it was gonna be the black death back there. So the grout's set up for a couple of hours, so the tiles feel like they're held really tight on the wall. It says to let it cure for 24 hours before grouting, so I'm going to do that. But I am going to pull out the little spacers. When you pull out the little spacers, they actually do look a lot better. Then once I put the grout on, 
It should, you know, continue that illusion of all of them being one piece of tile. Well, multiple pieces in a grid, but we won't have these huge shadowy gaps between them. And then once I caulk the bottom, it's gonna look really good. I'm actually really impressed with how this is turning out. So guys, I've removed all the spacers, like you've probably already seen, and uh, all the tiles are fixed in place. They're not coming off. The adhesive worked great. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the grouting process. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna smear the grout over the top of all the tiles to fill in all of the cracks in between and then use a sponge to clean up the excess. And then that's gotta set up for about 48 hours and then I'll caulk the whole thing. So I'm not gonna include the caulking in this video. Uh, just because that's not going to be done for a couple of days, but I'll post pictures of the final results on Twitter and Facebook So make sure that you guys follow me over there. All right, let's get started All right, I got my pre-mixed grout You can buy grout in powder form if you want and mix it yourself But I just wanted everything ready to go since this is a relatively small project So I want to get it spread over the blades. This is my first time doing this. I kind of want to start with a small amount I don't particularly like this little scraper because they have a little, little spacer thing at the bottom and it gets in the way. Especially back here in the corner. I might have to get another little plastic blade to do this properly. Here we go. This will make life a little bit easier. Because you really want to fill in the crack. Now for this specific job, I'm finding this little plastic trowel actually quite a bit more maneuverable than that bigger one. But if you were doing like a bigger job where you had multiple levels of tile, I think you'd probably be better off with the trowel. I'll tell you what, the grouting goes a lot faster than cutting and placing the tiles. That's for damn sure. So if you've got a bet with somebody or you want to pick which part of the job you want to do, pick grouting. It's pretty messy. Um, so you'll definitely need to take a shower afterwards, but it is a lot easier. And I found that if you don't, if you do multiple tiles at a time, it allows it to set up just a little bit and it makes it easier to clean up with the sponge. guys and gals here's the finished product all I need to do now is put caulk on it um, underneath and on the top but all the grout is in and has been curing for 24 hours so it looks fantastic and I put everything back on the counter so that my kid couldn't get at it but all in all I think this thing turned out really really good uh. Well guys, I hope that video gave you a nerdgasm. Uh, this isn't going to be a regular thing. It's just something I wanted to share with you guys since I had to spend my whole weekend doing it. But I think it turned out pretty good. And uh, I feel like I got pretty professional results. And once I put the caulk in underneath and on top, I think uh, 
anybody looks at it, it's going to be like, wow, how much did that cost to get done? And I'm going to be like, $100. <laughs> Until next time, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Sorry, I'm not bringing out the big equipment because, like I said, this is an insomnia video. Um, so, anyways, what was that? where was I going with this? Okay, so, anyways, this guy right here, normally you'd put this on the box and you'd screw it in and then the box would uh, be inside the wall. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to, this, this is ghetto. I'm not, I'm not an electrician. We're not going to wire this in properly. We're just going to run the wires on the outside. So anyways, I bought this extension cord. The goal is to chop the end off, wire it into this so that 